There were some books that were not ultimately included in the New Testament that at one time or another, by one group or another, were considered scripture, as we've seen, for example, in the case of the Ebionites with their form of the Gospel of, the, of Matthew, the Marcionites with their form of the Gospel of Luke, or with the Gnostics who had a variety of texts. The Gnostics didn't limit themselves to interpreting the texts such as the Gospel of John that came into the canon of the New Testament. The Gnostics had their own writings as, as well, many of which they considered scripture. And we've discovered a number of these writings. Uh, the most important discovery was made in 1945 uh, in a, uh, in a village, near a village, Nag Hammadi, Egypt, which was the discovery uh, in which the Gospel of Thomas was found along with 44 other texts that some Gnostics apparently considered to be scriptural, including other Gospels. There was a Gospel of Philip discovered at Nag Hammadi, for example, a Gospel called the Gospel of Truth, uh, and a range of other texts that related, for example, the Gnostic myths, such as the secret book of John, or a book called the Origin of the Worlds. Some Gnostic groups considered these texts to be scripture, or texts discovered earlier uh, in the 19th century that were considered by Gnostic groups to be scripture, including the Gospel of Mary, the only gospel that we have that claims to be written by a woman. There were a range of books considered by different groups to be Christian, but even the, groups that, even the group that ended up establishing orthodoxy accepted at one point or another, at one place or another, at one time or another, books that eventually were excluded from the canon.